So in this module, we are going to discuss seventh question that is find the sum of deviations of all observations of the data 5, 8, 10, 15, 22 from their mean. So deviation from their mean. Actually, the deviation uh, mean will be any value you can select from the range of 5 to 22. So that is the case. First, we are going to find mean they are asking. So mean will be equal to sum of observations that is summation of observations by number of observations so that is how many numbers they are given 5 plus 8 plus 10 plus 15 plus 22 by how many number of observations 5 so 5 plus 8 plus 10 plus all we will get 60 so 60 by 5 5 ones are then 5 ones are then 5 twos are so what is the mean 12 so what is the mean 12 so actually they are asking deviation values means we need to take from each and every value we need to subtract um, all the values so from the mean so from the mean asking right so for that we need to subtract 5 minus 12 like that so summation of sum of deviations so first of all find deviation values deviations from observations that is observation values observation value minus here they are asking from mean so for that we need to take mean or otherwise you can take any value from this actually deviation values means we have to take one deviated value from range of 5 to 22 then you can subtract that value from this but actually they are asking from their mean right so for that we are taking mean value that is observatory values is what 5 minus 12, 8 minus 12, 10 minus 12, 15 minus 12, 22 minus 12. Then what is the values here? What values you will get? So minus 7, then minus 4, minus 2, 3, 10. So these are the deviated values. That means you can take one thing. The sum of deviations, sum of deviations will be equal to summation of x sin minus deviated value we will take as a. So here deviated values will be a. So summation of all this will be that is you can take like this minus 7 plus minus 4 plus of minus 2 plus 3 plus 10. So what is that? minus 7 plus minus 4 will be minus 11 minus 11 will be minus 2 will be minus 13 plus 13 so what we are getting 0 or deviated mean you can calculate so deviation mean or de mean of deviations deviation mean or mean of deviations mean of deviations will be summation of deviated value is what xi minus a so deviation is nothing but that value we have to subtract from the original observatory values phi that is 0 by 5 0 so the deviation mean is also 0 thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if not yet subscribe please subscribe our eighth question is if sum of the 20 deviations from the mean is 100 then find the mean deviation so they only given that sum of the 20 deviations so number of deviations number of deviations will be equal to 20 then sum of deviations they are given sum of deviations sum of deviations they are given as 100 then find the mean deviation so mean deviation will be equal to what is that so actually mean deviation is sum of deviations sum of deviations by number of deviations so whatever in denominator we will get number above that we will get sum that is 100 by 20 21 is 25 are. so what is that Therefore, mean deviation, mean deviation will be equal to 
5. Mean deviation will be equal to 5. Hello viewers, in this module we are going to discuss that is 9th question. Marks of 12 students in a unit test are given as 4, 21, 30 like that. Assume a mean and calculate the arithmetic mean of the data. Assume another number as mean and calculate the arithmetic mean again. Do you get the same result and comment? I think we will get the same result. Why? Because a deviation value will not be changed by arithmetic mean or arithmetic mean will not change by deviation value. Deviation is nothing but fluctuating values from the actual values. So what is the number, total number of students? Total number of students, how many? 12. So what is the marks of students? Marks of students, 12 students will be equal to, let's write from ascending order 4, 5, then 9, 10, then what you will get? 4, 9, 10, then 5 also finished, then you can go with 12. So 12, then 14, then what you can, here 13 is there, so 13, 14, then again 17, then 19, 20, then 20, again 20, 20 is there, so 19 already over, then 21. So these are the numbers which we will write in ascending order. So that is the case. So here, so what you can take here is, so this is the number 13. Then let's take marks of students we have written and what is the estimated mean? Estimated mean or assumed mean? So assumed mean or estimated mean all are same estimated mean or a same. So what is the actual arithmetic mean? That is arithmetic mean will be equal to assumed mean that is we can take this as capital A. This one as capital A assumed mean plus average of mean assumed mean average of assumed mean so that is the actual formula of arithmetic mean or you can take mean will be equal to a plus summation of xi minus a by total number. So this is the formula we have to remember. So mean will be equal to assumed mean plus so it will be varied with assumed mean plus summation of xi minus a whole divided by number. So here so this is the formula of mean. So let's find out what are the deviations values. So what are the deviation values? Assumed mean we know. Let's take let. Assumed mean will be let's take 9. So let's take select as 9 as assumed mean in first case. So what is the deviation values? We know that. So arithmetic mean. Assumed mean plus 9 plus, then what are the deviation values? So we know that 4 minus 9, that are 4 minus summation of all that, you know. So for that, 4 minus 9 plus, 4 minus 9 plus, 21 minus 9 plus, 13 minus 9 plus 17 minus 9 plus 5 minus 9 plus 9 minus 9 plus 10 minus 9 plus 20 minus 9 plus 19 minus 9 plus 12 minus 9 plus 20 minus 9 plus 14 minus 9 
whole divided by 12. So why? Because here 12 observation values are there. If you have any doubt, you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 9 plus. So what is this? 4 minus 9 will be minus 5. So here what you are getting? Minus 5 plus 21 minus 9. 21 minus 9 will be 12 plus 13 minus 9. So what is that? 13 minus 9 will be 4 plus 17 minus 9. So 17 minus 9 will be 8 plus 5 minus 9 will be minus 4. So minus 4 plus 9 minus 9 will be 0. 10 minus 9 will be 1. Then 20 minus 9 will be 11. Then 19 minus 9 will be 10. Then 12 minus 9 will be 12 minus 9 will be 3 plus 20 minus 9 will be 11 plus 14 minus 9 will be 5 whole divided with 12. So what you will get is 9 plus. So what is the value of this? So minus 5. So here minus 5 all the things you will going to write. Minus 5 minus 4 will be all the minus that is minus 9 plus 12 plus 4, 16, 16 plus, so 12 plus 4 plus, 8 plus, 1 plus, 11 plus, 10 plus, 3 plus, then 11 plus, 5. So what you are getting? 65. Whole divided with 12. So 65. Then what is that? 9 plus of? 65 minus 9. So 65 minus 9, 56. 56 by 12. So what you can take it here is, let's take LCM. 12 into 9 plus 56 by 12. 12 nines are 108. 108 plus 56 by 12. Then 108 plus 56. What is that? 164 by 12. So 164 by 12. 12 will be 13.666 will get 13.67 so therefore what is the average that is arithmetic mean so average will be equal to 13.67 this is by first case so this is by first case then let's take second case will be so second case will be 10 you can take so second case will be 10 so let's take any value you can take it's not like 10 like like that only you any value you can take let's take we will going to take it as um, uh, 20 or 12 we'll going to take uh, 12 so second case will be 12 so let's take let second case assumed mean will be 12 assumed mean will be 12 then what is the average so our assumed mean will be 12 we are taking then we need to find what is the actual mean so actual mean that is mean will be equal to assumed mean plus summation of xi minus a by deviation average of deviation so that is here what you can take it here is so let's take 12 plus then what is that so we need to take all the values of deviation values that is 4 minus 12 plus average we are taking then 21 minus 12 plus 13 minus 12 plus 17 minus 12 plus 5 minus 12 plus 9 minus 12 plus 10 minus 12 plus 20 minus 12 plus 19 minus 12 plus 12 minus 12 plus 20 minus 12 plus 14 minus 12 whole divided by how many 12 so that is the case here so let's take 12 plus 
So what is the deviation values? 4 minus 12 will be 4 minus 12 will be minus 8 plus of 21 minus 12 will be what? 9 then 13 minus 12 will be 1 plus 17 minus 12 will be 5 then 5 minus 12 will be plus of minus 7 then 9 minus 12 will be so 3 minus 3 plus 10 minus 12 will be minus 2 plus 20 minus 12 will be 8 19 minus 12 will be 7 then 12 minus 12 will be 0 12 20 minus 12 will be 8 then 14 minus 12 will be 2 whole divided by 12 so let's find out 12 plus so what is this value so minus 8 minus 8 then add minus 7 then minus 3 then minus 2 we are going to add all these things minus 2 that's all so what if you add all these numbers means we will get minus 20 plus so 9 plus 1 will be 10 10 15 15 plus 8 so 15 plus 8 will be 23 so 23 plus 7 30 30 plus 8 38 then 40 we will get 40 by 12 so that is 12 plus 20 by 12 so what you can take common here 6 2 tens are 10 2 6 are then 2 3s are then 2 5s are so like that or you can take simply 4 4 5s are 4 4 3s are 12 then 12 into 3 plus 5 by 3 let's take common of this so 12 3s are 36 plus 5 by 3 then so what you'll get 41 by 3 so what is that 41 by 3 41 by 3 so 41 by 3 what you're getting 13.666 dot dot like that that is 13.67 so what is the average so that is average will be 13.6 so what you can take common here is for any deviation value for any deviation value so for any deviation value for any deviation value average is C average is C thanks for watching please subscribe